This edition of the TV Spotlight is brought to you by the San Jose Museum of Art. trying to explain to your clients why sometimes they're not going to get that reasonable result. With a focus on building a lasting network and community, hundreds of legal professionals and students took part in the 17th annual Nasalsa Conference at Stanford University. This is how we build our networks. This organization representing South Asian law students gives aspiring attorneys a chance to interact with folks at the very top of the profession, all of whom have a strong sense of duty to give back. When I started practicing law, I had never met an Indian lawyer, and I've always felt like it probably would have been good for me to meet somebody who did that kind of stuff. Um, and so it's real important to me to kind of act as a mentor to the younger lawyers so they can actually see someone like me uh, who has had some degree of success and that that's attainable for them. I think the caliber of, of um, speakers that you've seen here this weekend speaks to the general feeling among a lot of senior members of our bar that there's so much more we can do to promote the profession and encourage others that this is a wonderful way to make a difference in the world. And so that's why we're here. From Magistrate Judge Paul Graywall to New York City's top federal prosecutor, Preet Bharara, young scholars hoping to make their mark got keen insight into this evolving profession. We just have so much support in the South Asian attorney community and the legal community and it's just a matter of getting more South Asian students involved in the legal industry. That was our goal and I think we did a great job of achieving that. I think that the more diversity you have, the more, you know, the better reflection you have of what America looks like and what America is about and different perspectives I think make each of those industries better in the long run. So I would advocate it not just in the law, but in all sorts of other places where South Asians are maybe underrepresented. I think panels like this are really important, um, just so that people um, can internalize di like why diversity is important. Um, so the more events that you have surrounding diversity, I think the more people will be aware that um, it's really still an issue um, in today's world. With the bar still woefully short in reflecting America's demographics, Leaders like Judge Sunil Kulkarni are actively looking for young people of different backgrounds to mentor, offering opportunities to be clerks in his courtroom and asking fellow judges to do the same. I think that what they can do is have a broader range of what they consider valuable. Um, it's not just grades and test scores, although those are obviously very important or when, where you went to law school, but it's the experiences. Uh, maybe you were the first one in your family to go to law school. Maybe you came from an underprivileged background. Maybe you came from an ethnic community that really has not had positive experience of the law. I think, and often those are valuable experiences to bring into play and to help judges uh, make decisions that affect, you know, everybody in the community. Javed Chaudhary, the first South Asian general counsel for a Fortune 200 company, and Maya Harris, public policy advocate and sister to California Attorney General Kamala Harris, gave keynotes imparting wisdom to the next generation they hope will move the industry forward. Any profession, including ours, the legal profession, is a journey, and that journey isn't a straight line. The important thing is to make sure every chapter is valuable, you learn something and you give something. I think what's most important is to always be open to new opportunities, um, to work as hard as you can, be the best at anything that you can be, um, but also be willing to take some risks and do things that may not be sort of on the track um, or on a particular path. And some of the best experiences that you have end up being the ones um, that you never expected.